ओके देन द प्री लिबलाइजेशन पीरियड 1947 टू 1991 Uh, the indian economic policy uh, after independence was influenced by the colonial experience which was seen on uh, seen as exploited by indian leaders exposed to british social democracy and the planned economic of the soviet union domestic uh, policy tended towards protectionism Uh, with a strong emphasis on uh, import uh, substitution industrialization economic uh, interventionism a large government run public sector business regulation and uh, central planning which trade a foreign investment policies were uh, relatively liberal five years plans of india resume, uh, resembled central planning in the soviet union steel mining machine tools telecommunication insurance and uh, power plants among other industries were effectively nationalized in the mid 1950s the indian economy of this period is uh, characterized as derision never talk to me about profit j it is very dirty world nehru india's fevin socialism inspired first prime minister to industrialist j r d tata when uh, tata suggested state owned companies should be profitable Uh, Jawaharlal Nehru the first prime minister of india along uh, with the statistician uh, prasanth chandra maha lambosis formulated and overs economic policy during the initial years of the country independence the expected favorite outcomes from their uh, strategy involving the rapid development of heavy industry by both public and private sectors and where's the dirty based the direct and indirect state intervention rather than the more extreme soviet style central commanded system the policy of uh, concentrating simultaneously capital and uh, technology intensive heavy industry and uh, subsidizing manual low skill cottage industries was criticized by economic milton friedman who thought it would waste capital and labor and uh, retard the development of small manufacturers then since uh, 1965 the use of high yielding varieties of uh, seeds uh, increase fertility uh, fertilizers and improve irrigation facilities collectively contributed to the green revolution in india which uh, improved uh, the condition of agriculture by increasing crop productivity improving crop uh, patterns crop crop patterns uh, and uh, strengthening forward and uh, backward linkages between agriculture and industry however it had also been criticized as an unsustainable effort resulting in the growth of uh, capitalistic farming ignoring in institutional reforms and uh, winding income disparities In 1800, uh, 1984, Rajiv Gandhi promised economic liberalisation has met BP Singh in Finance Minister who tried to reduce tax uh, evasion and uh, tax receipt rose due to this crackdown. All those taxes were uh, lowered. The process lost its uh, momentum during the later tenure of Mr. Gandhi. Has uh, as his government was uh, married by scandals. Uh, then the post liberalization period uh, since uh, 1991 main article economic liberalization in uh, india and economic development in india uh, the collapse of the soviet union which was uh, india's major trading partner and uh, the gulf war which caused a spike in oil prices resulted in a major balance of uh, payment crisis for india which found itself facing the prospect of uh, defaulting on its loans India asked for a 1.8 billion US dollar bailout loan from the International Monetary Fund IMF which in return demanded re-regulation in response the Narasimha Rao government including finance minister Manmohan Singh initiated economic reforms in 1991 the reforms did away with the license raj reduced tariff and uh, interest rates and uh, ended many public monopolies allowing automatic approval of foreign direct investment in many sectors since then the overall trust of liberalization has uh, remained the same although no government has uh, tried to take on powerful lobbies such as uh, trade unions and uh, farmers on uh, 
contentious issues such as reforming labor law and reducing agriculture subsidies by the turn of the 21st century india had uh, progressed uh, towards a free market economy with a substantial uh, reduction in uh, state control of the economy and uh, increased financial liberalization this has been accomplished by increase the life expectancy literacy rate and uh, food security all those urban residents and uh, benefited uh, more than rural residents while the credit rating of uh, india has uh, india was hit by its nuclear weapon test in 1998 it, ha- it has since been raised raised to investment level in 2003 by standard and poors s&p and moody's India experienced high growth rates, averaging 9% from 2003 to 7. Growth then moderate in 2008 due to the global financial crisis in 2003. Goldman Sachs predicted that India's GDP in current prices would overtake uh, France and Italy by 2020, Germany, UK and Russia by 2025, and uh, Japan by 2035, making it the third lar- third largest economy of the world. Behind the US and China, India is often seen by most economic economists as a rising economy superpower which will play a major role in the 21st century global economy. Uh, starting in 2012, India entered a period of uh, reduced growth uh, which slowed in 5.6%. Other economic problem also become a part a plumbing Indian rupees, a persistent high current account deficit and a slow industrial growth. India started recovery in 2013-14 when the GDP growth rate accelerated to 6.4% from the previous year, 5.5%. The acceleration continues through 2014-15 and 15-16 with growth rates of 7.5% and 8% respectively. For the first time since 1990, India grew faster than China, which registered 6.9% growth in 2015. However, the growth rate subsequently decelerated to 7.71% and 6.6% in 2016-17 and 17-18 respectively, partly because of the destructive effort uh, effects of uh, 2016 Indian uh, bank note demonetization and good service, goods and service tax India. India is ranked uh, 63rd out of 190s countries in the World Bank 2020 as of doing business index of uh, 14 points from the last year's 100 and uh, of 37 points in just two years. In terms of uh, dealing with uh, construction uh, permits of uh, enforcing contracts, it is ranked among the 10th worst uh, India, uh, 10th worst in the world. While it has a relatively favorable ranking when it comes to protecting minority investors or uh, getting credit, the strong efforts taken by the Department of Industrial Policy and uh, Promotion (DIPP) to boost as of doing business ranking rankings at the state level is said to impact the overall ranking of India. Then India's GDP growth has been slowed rapidly from the from a high of 8.3% in 2016 to just 4.2% in 2019. Some experts have pointed to the 2016 Indian banknote demonetization as a trigger that set India's growth into a downward direction. Then the last last is impact of COVID-19 pandemic 2020. Uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic, numerous, uh, numerous rating agencies downgraded India's GDP predictions of uh, financial year 2021 to negative figures, uh, signing a recession in India, the most uh, severe uh, severe since uh, 1917. According to the Dern and Bradstreet report, the country is likely suffer a recession in the third quarter of uh, financial year 2020 as a result of uh, long uh, lockdown imposed to curb the spread of COVID-19 pandemic.
the economy of india is uh, characterized uh, as a middle income developing market economy it is the world's sixth largest economy by nominal gdp and the third largest by the purchasing power priority ppp according to the international monetary fund imf on a per capita income basis india ranked 145th by gdp nominal and uh, 122 by gdp purchasing power priority from independence in 1947 until 1991 successive government promoted protectionist economic policies with extensive state intervention and economic regulation this is uh, characterized as dirism in the form of the license raj the end of the cold war and an acute balance of the payment crisis in 1991 led to the adoption of a bold economic liberalization in india since the start of the 21st century annual average gdp growth has been 6% to 7% and the form of uh, and the form 2013 to 2018 india was the world's uh, fastest growing major economy surpassing china historically india was the largest economy in the world for most of the two millennia from the first until the 19th century the long term growth perspective of uh, the Indian economy remains uh, positive due to its young population and uh, corresponding low dependency ratio healthy savings and investment rates increasing globalization in india and uh, integration into the global economy the economy slowed in 2017 due to shocks of demonetization in 2016 and the introduction of the goods and services tax in 2017 nearly 60% of indian gdp is driven by domestic private consumption The country remains the world's sixth largest consumer market. Apart from the private consumption, India's GDP is also fueled by government, shipping, investment, and export. In 2019, India was the world's world's ninth largest importer and the twelfth largest exporter. India has been a number of uh, World Trade Organization since 1st of January 1995. India ranks 63rd on the Ease of Doing Business Index and uh, 68 on the Global Capitalism. competitiveness report with uh, 500 million workers the indian labor force was the world second largest as of 2019 india has one of the world's uh, highest number of billionaires and extreme income inequality since india has a vast informal economy barely 2% of indian pay income taxes during the 2010 global financial crisis the economy faced a mild slowdown india undertook stimulus measures both uh, physical and monetary a boost growth had uh, generated demand in subsequent year economic growth revived It, according to the 2017 price waterhouse coopers pwc reports india gdp at purchasing power priority could overtake that of the united states by 2050 according to the world bank to achieve sustainable economic development india must focus on public sector reform infrastructure agriculture rural and rural development removal of the of land and labor regulations financial inclusion spur private investment and export education and public health in 2020 india's state largest trading partners were the united states china the united arab emirates uae saudi arabia switzerland germany hong kong indonesia south korea and malaysia in 2019 20 the foreign direct investment fdi in india was 74.4 billion us dollar the leading sector of fdi inflows were the service sector in the computer industry and the telecom industry india has free trade agreements with uh, several nations including asean sapta mercosur south korea japan and several other which are in effort effect or under negotiating state the service sector makes up 50% uh, of gdp and remains the fastest growing sector while the industrial sector and agricultural sector employs majority of the labor force the mumbai stock exchange the national stock exchange are some of the world's largest stock exchange by market capitalization india is the world's sixth largest manufacturer representing 3% of global manufacturing output and employs over 57 million people nearly 66% of indian population is rural and uh, contributes about 50% of indian gdp it has the world's fourth largest foreign exchange reserve worth uh, 620.576 billion us dollar had uh, has a high public debt with 86% of gdp while its fiscal deficit stood at 9.5% of gdp india's government owned bank for uh, faced mountaining bad debt resulting in low credit growth
growth. Simultaneously, the NBFC sector has been engulfed in a liquidity crisis. India faced moderate unemployment, uh, rising income inequality, and drop in aggregate demands. India's gross domestic saving rate stood at 30.1% of GDP in financial year 2019. In recent years, independent economists and uh, financial institutions have uh, accused the government of fudging various economic data, especially GDP growth. India is the world's larger manufacturer of genetic drugs and its pharmaceutical sector, fulfilling over 50% of the global demand of vaccines. The India IT industry is a major export of IT services with 191 billion US dollars in revenue and uh, employs over 4 million people. India's chemical industry is extremely diversified and uh, estimated at uh, 178 billion US dollars. The tourism industry contributes about 9.2% of Indian GDP and employs over 42 million people. India ranks second globally in food and agricultural production, while agricultural exports were 35.9 billion US dollars. The construction and real estate sector ranked third among the 14 major sectors in terms of direct, indirect, and uh, induced effort effects in all sectors of the economy. The Indian textile industry is estimated at 100 billion US dollars and contributes. 13% of industrial output and 2.3% of Indian GDP, while employs over 45 million people directly. India's telecommunication industry is the world's second largest by the number of the mobile phones, smartphones and internet users. It is uh, the world's 25th largest oil producer and the third largest oil consumer. The Indian automobile industry is the world's fifth largest by production. India has a retail market worth 1.17 trillion US dollar. Which, which contributes over 10% of the Indian GDP. It also has one of the world's fastest growing e-commerce market. India has the world's fourth largest natural resources with a mining sector contributing 11% of the country industrial GDP and 2.5% of total GDP. It is also the world's second largest coal producer, the second largest oh. cement producer, the second largest steel producer and the third largest electricity producer. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy my video. It's a very informative video. Okay, until the next video. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe my channel.